Chase lab is the chemical equilibrium lab. So you're going to be looking at Le Chatelier's principle. We're going to look at three different reactions. Um, so one of those reactions is between um, potassium chromate and an acid solution. So that's going to be reaction one. Um, what you're going to be looking at is how does the equilibrium shift? How does it change when we add different stresses to that reaction? Uh, reaction two um, is going to be looking at a cobalt chloride ion um, in solution. And then the third reaction is going to deal with um, ammonium chloride. Um, so this first reaction we're going to look at is going to be between um, sulfuric acid and potassium chromate. Um, so you're going to need to make observations on what you see before we add a stress, determine what that stress is, what happens, which way does the equilibrium shift. So I do have all of the chemicals set up in the hoods. I'm just going to kind of move some of those out of the way um, since we don't need that yet. Um, so we're going to be looking at, so again, reaction one is going to be with uh, potassium chromate. So you can see here, potassium chromate is this yellow solution. And we have some sulfuric acid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about two milliliters of the potassium chromate to a test tube. And then I want to add some sulfuric acid to that. And so we're going to add it until we see a change in our color. have my potassium chromate in the test tube. So you can make observations on that. That should go in table one. Um, this is before we've added anything else. So you can see that there is a yellow color to this. Uh, and then the directions say that we want to add dropwise the sulfuric acid until uh, we see a noticeable change. Okay, so we did have a color change. Just kind of shaking up that test tube to make sure that everything is reacted. And then you should record your new observations for what happens uh, in table one as well. So record the new color. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, so we just added sulfuric acid to this and it turned orange. Um, now we're going to add dropwise sodium hydroxide, NaOH, until we see a noticeable color change again. Um, so again, this should be what you're starting with. So you record your observations in table one. Once we add the sodium hydroxide and see a color change, again, you can record your observations uh, in that table one. So you haven't seen a color change yet. I haven't seen anything visibly change. I'm gonna keep adding the sodium hydroxide. Okay, so now we've seen that color change. Again, to make sure that you record your observations, um, you're going to decide in table two um, what, was, what were the stresses that you added, um, what happened, why did the equilibrium shift the way it shifted. Um, that's all gonna go in table two. Okay, uh, now what we wanna do with this reaction is put it into our waste container. So there's a special waste container for the chromate ions. So we're gonna dump it in there and then make sure that you wash your test tube when you're finished with this. I'm just gonna set it aside for now and then I will um, dump them all out to the waste container. 